G'day legends and it, oh, looks like I'll be going horizontal. Today I'm going to be finishing off an actuator installation and I'm going to show you exactly why they suck so much to install. Alright, let's do it. So, this is the side I'm working on but there's this walkway right through the middle so I need to set up some barricade. The barricade! <laughs> Okay, so the actuator is in that box just there, but first it is time for coffee. <laughs> nice. It is so cold today. <laughs> this is amazing. Before I can play with any of this stuff, I need to isolate. Isolate. And that's in there. Hello, I need to isolate. Hello. <laughs> Check out this valve. I have no idea how old this valve actually is. Old enough. But I do know that it gets controlled by this motor which turns this reduction gearbox, which turns the valve. Uh, but what I really want is that. Okay, so this is a circuit breaker. I need to isolate it, so let's do that. Done! Now let's get into this bad boy. Ha! Just check for dead. <sighs> Looking good. Before I get into why these things suck so much to install, why don't you just hit that subscribe button? You done? Okay, good. So you might have guessed it's this round configuration here to install. Plus, they give you these flat screws. I mean, call him 1973. Hello. They want their screws back. And then we look at these drawings. I mean, if you're gonna make a flux capacitor, why don't you just make it easy to interpret? My case in point, this looks like the close and open circuit using a common negative. But if you go on over to the online manual, you'll see it's using number five for the 24 volt positive. I mean, what are you trying to do? Why? Look, I've been ragging on Road Talk, but honestly, they're a really good quality valve. Just, you know, maybe a little bit of improvement. So, need to change this wire over to here. Okay, I'll pop the lid back on, but before we can commission it, I need to shut this valve, which is like over there somewhere. So, yeah. On. Valve call to open. Relay is on. Nothing. Hmm. This. This join. All right, I'm going to skip the fact why I think that should be already connected, but uh, let's put one in. Okay. Uh -huh. This one. What? All right, now our link's in, let's try this again. Day. Yes, actuators suck to install. A little bit of consideration. Consideration, yeah. For the technicians that install these things it would be much appreciated, but they are pretty amazing and robust pieces of equipment. So please make sure that you like, comment, and share so more people can learn about electrical instrumentation and the water industry.